I don't want to actually hang on one second. Let me let me start off with an apology. Let me say I'm sorry. And I also don't want to bring you bad news. But sometimes that's all there is. Depending, I guess, on how you look at it. But uh, today has been a little rough. Today has been a challenge. It's been very taxing. I'm pretty sure a lot of you can agree. You understand where I'm coming from. And I want to thank you for hearing me out. I want to thank you for listening. Because uh, we all need somebody to talk to. And sometimes that person we talk to, they just listen. But sometimes that person we talk to, they talk back. Interestingly enough, in the position, the situation that I'm in, I get a lot of people talking back. And uh, it really makes me, it takes me back. Or I'm taken aback, basically, by what is shared, what I'm told, what is suggested to me. Uh, sadly enough, there was a situation where somebody fell on hard times and they thought that their friends were going to be there for them. And they weren't. They were there for them in the good the good times but when things got bad no one was around but I mean we all kind of expect that we kind of we kind of hope our friends are really our friends but I think now the term friend is used entirely too loosely whereas there was once a time where the term friend was earned not automatically assigned I don't have a lot of friends, but the friends that I do have know that they're my friends and vice versa. It's not a one sided uh, arrangement. I have apparently not so many friends from some of the comments that I receive on my videos that I upload to YouTube. Oh, man, God, I can't believe I'm pouring my heart out to you guys. But sometimes you're you're sometimes it's easier to talk to a stranger. I feel like I know some of you. I feel the love. I see the comments. Love you guys. But honestly, I feel the love. But then others kind of, you know, maybe they mean well, but. They do kind of get to you from time to time. It's almost like these people wake up with the sole intention of trying to ruin someone else's day. Trying to tear them down, make them feel bad. I don't know why they do that. A video I put up yesterday or I recorded it yesterday. I put it up late last night, early this morning. And uh, I, honestly, I was saying, you know, I want to go back in time crazy story Michelle and I were out on the water kayaking kayaking is a lot of work okay (laughs) I'm gonna tell you right now kayak is a lot of work especially when you have to build your kayaks two of them so when we go kayaking I have to uh, inflate two kayaks That's, that's five chambers of air per kayak but Michelle helps. She helps for sure. The, the kid helped today too because it was a, a weekend. She was with us instead of being in school when we're kayaking. But it's a lot of work. But um, we were out on the water and we were having a conversation. I was like, you know, what if we lived multiple lives? 
not like multiple lives where uh, you got a whole nother uh, identity in another state or country or something like that. You're a spy or a CIA agent or just trying to uh, have a second family on the side. But multiple lives where you have been on this planet before or maybe just existed before because maybe it's not this planet so she was like yeah and we've never really talked about it before but we were just out in the water and I was just like random conversation and I thought I was like well you would you know most people probably think you had a previous life before this life but I was thinking well what if you had a previous life in the future a previous life in the future where like you're here now but you've already lived another life a hundred years like in the in the year 2123 or something like that it was an interesting conversation but the only life that I know for sure is the one that I've lived and I was saying that I would love to go back to the good old days the 90s 80 85 I said the video said can I go back to 1985 because that was the year I was born but really the 90s is when I remember and uh there was a lot that was another instance of you guys really being there for me and I really do appreciate it and allowing me to just share with you all be myself talk to you and you guys talk back have conversations connect with one another build relationships positive relationships but every now and then there's going to it's going to happen somebody's going to click on a video and they really should just click out of the video but they stay in the video and then they they get they get their armor, they get suited up with their armor, and they get behind the keyboard and they start typing away their comments to try to make people feel bad. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I've never wanted to just go out and harm someone physically or verbally that I don't know for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Emotionally attack their mental health. Like I just don't get it. But I digress. Interestingly, I told Michelle while we were out on the water, I said, a lot of things happen for a reason. I said, the creation of the movie The Matrix didn't happen by accident. A lot of the things that we have today are not here by accident. There's a greater force, there's a greater power out there. And I don't know what it is. I'd love to know what it is. I probably never will. But I'd love to know what it is. Because the simple fact of the matter is that I'm here talking to you. You're here listening to me. Which, by the way, again, please accept my apology. The light blew out out here. and Or at least it's not working. I don't know. I need to call maintenance over here. So it's a little dark. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, but it's like we are here together. If you think about now, granted, we're not going to get into the Scientology of it where they're building and make creating life in labs, synthetic life in labs. We're not going to talk about that. That's that's a different story. But at the end of the day, you and I are here more than likely because two people before us decided to procreate and we are here. That's pretty much the standard MO of how it's done. Now, if you listen to certain political agendas or uh, progressive thinkers, they'll say, well, you know, all you need, you know, if if if. Two men can have a baby together. No, they can't. No, they can't. 
But either way, I think there's a statue somewhere. There's a statue of a man, a naked man holding a baby, breastfeeding the baby. It's the craziest thing in the world. I don't get it. This world is really starting to blow my mind in ways that are not good. I'll just leave it at that. Not good. There's that bad news I was thinking about. But either way, we have to we have to live through this. And um, the traditional method is male, female, intercourse, uh, IVF. Uh, ultimately, you know, the traditional method of creating life takes two. It takes two. So how did that happen the first time? <laughs> That's the crazy part. That's the crazy part. You, we, you know, we can get, get into the, the religious side of it, the spiritual side of it, the, the scientific side of it, the Big Bang Theory side of it. But at the end of the day, everything had to come from something. But where did the first something come from? I apologize. I do not mean to get off on a tangent, but I wanted to bring you guys in on some of the talks and conversations that my wife and I have on a regular basis. Uh, one of the new talks now is talking about getting older and the joys of menopause. Lots to learn. We'll be fine. We'll make it through. We've always done so in the past and we will continue to do so in the future. As long as we keep a positive mindset, a positive outlook and continue to motivate each other to push through, do better, be better, help each other, support each other, pick each other up when they fall. We're a team. We love each other. We're married. We're friends. We're best friends. But either way, the video that I'm talking about, there was a comment that said, you know what? Maybe, Kevin, perhaps if you didn't drive all these fancy cars and spend all this money, you would be able to pay your rent. Actually, I put up a video last year, November December time I was in Orlando I remember it vividly the video not the time uh, we were about to drive to Atlanta Georgia there was supposed to be some inclement weather potential snow it's going to get a little sketchy a little dicey uh, but it's even there's even a far more there's a deeper reason why I remember this time and I don't really want to get into it right now but it was not good for me, it was a really low point in my uh, existence here. And on that video that I created, I talked about expensive car payments crossing over into $2,000 a month or more, plus insurance, plus, plus, plus maintenance, plus, 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 plus modifications. And other expenses, expensive habits, expensive tastes, uh, just wasteful spending for the most part. And so then I'm thinking back like on this comment and they're like, well, you know, if, if you didn't have that car, you didn't spend that money and, you know, you could pay your rent. While also some comments would come through and say, you don't need money. Forget these worldly possessions you know, give your life to God. I don't really know what that means because as long as I'm here, I know I have to pay for stuff. So I'm kind of confused on that one. But either way, there are some people who have extremely high, extremely expensive car payments. They have extremely expensive habits, hobbies, debts that they owe quite possibly because uh, they're impulsive or they're trying to compensate for something or they're just trying to keep up with the Joneses or impress their friends or impress their neighbors or impress people that they don't even like. Maybe they're doing it for social media. Maybe they're doing it for clout. Maybe they're doing it for YouTube. 
Now, I can't say this with any certainty, but there's a there's a channel that I watch, a content creator that I I liked watching who would share valuable information and tips and strategies and helpful, useful things that, you know, would allow others to succeed and grow, make money. And I'm afraid to say that I think that they have gone out on a limb and have actually gone so far as to get pregnant just to create content, just to get the viral clicks, just to get the views, just to get the eyes, just to get the money. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but I have a strong indication. I have a, that gut feeling. You ever get that gut feeling and you just know? You just know? Maybe I'm right. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll be confirmed. Maybe never. Pregnancy. Uh, conception. Is a touchy subject. I know. I understand. For a variety of reasons. And I'm not going to get into it here. But. The video that I uploaded. Had nothing to do with my ability or our ability to pay our rent now granted I did mention the fact that we may be leaving here soon and potentially buying a house or maybe even considering moving to Colorado crazy I know but that had nothing to do with the inability to cover our monthly expenses but at the end of the day I have to remember that We're not all going to see eye to eye. We're not all going to be on the same page. Sometimes people hear what they want. They see what they want. It's a misinterpretation or they have a preconceived notion and are secretly inside hoping that there's some form of tragedy or turmoil or problem that exists in in my life or others for them to speak on and have their opinions and cast judgment and look down their nose at you only to make themselves feel better, maybe. Or maybe make you feel worse. I'm not sure. But at the end of the day, um, we're perfectly fine. Um, We're doing just fine. We're continuously working. (sighs) That was the other one. Someone says, Well, maybe if you were to get a job, you'd be able to pay your bills. And I'm thinking to myself, well, um, I mean, I think I have a job. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I have work to do. I make money. I just don't work a traditional schedule. I make more than average income, you know, based on Census Bureau data statistics. Um, It's a remote work lifestyle, work from anywhere, work from home, travel. It's an informal income, sort of, I guess. Not so informal. I think informal income kind of falls into the category of like uh, the fans only sites or something like that. But it's not normal. People don't, (laughs) for the most part, people don't say, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a YouTube I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a YouTube content creator. So I guess it's kind of informal, but not really. But I have to filter through these comments, which normally I don't reply to. Maybe I give a heart or a thumbs up, but I am actually receiving some really positive feedback. And you guys have been an extraordinary help in allowing me to see clearer, think clearer, be happier. Especially, you guys know exactly who you are. You comment, you connect, you support. You're in the Patreon. You're on both channels. You're on multiple channels of ours, mine and Michelle's, Squirrel Tribe, myself, Travel Van, Cars with Kev. All of them. Squirrel Tribe 2.0, Squirrel Tribe Life. And you guys have been such an extraordinary help. Because I see and I hear and I read and I embrace everything that you guys tell me, which is, Kevin, we love you. Keep doing what you're doing. Forget the haters. You're doing a great job. 
keep it up. And for all of you, you know who you are. I want to tell you, thank you. Thank you very much. Love you guys.